class we started discussing about the general second order circuits so meaning of that so the circuits neither fall in series rlc circuit nor in parallel rlc circuit so how we solved that so we analyzed the circuit and after that we have written the differential equations and the different from the differential equations we expected the solution from that so based on the initial conditions so we solved the equations so from that we obtained the overall solution of the either voltage or current so let us try to solve some more problems in today's class before we going to the laplace transforms from next day onwards or tomorrow onwards so let us consider the circuit So this is 0.5 farad. This is current source, dependent current source, I by 4. This is 2 ohm. And this is 0.1 farad. And this voltage is V. So we have some initial conditions are given. So V of 0 plus, so which is equal to 4 volts. And I of 0 plus, so which is equal to amperes. Okay. So how to solve this kind of problems? So first step is so initial conditions is already given right so therefore no need to find that so what we have to do is we need to find the characteristic equation of the differential circuit so let us assume that this is ground so what is this mode node voltage this is ground so what is this voltage v sir so this is v right okay so what we have to do is we using kvl and kcl in different circuits and at different nodes so we need to bring one differential equations we need to one bring one differential equations in the circuit what we need to find is right so what we need to find is v of t so find v of t per t greater than zero what we have to do is we need to find straight away if it is possible we need to find v of t otherwise by some other means we need to obtain the the required one if this is v right what we can do so we can apply kvl or kcl right so if you apply kcl at this node so what you will get if you apply kcl here so this is the current here and these this current directions is already given right apply kcl at node v what it results? So what is the current here? If you apply KCL. What is that current? Point 0.1 dV by. Point 0.1 dV by dt. So that is the outgoing current. So what are the incoming currents? Pi i by 4. I by 4 plus I right, so which is equal to 5 I by 4. Okay. So that means, so what you ultimately got, what is uh, the value of I? How much it is if you bring on that other side? It will be 1 by 4, right? So that means 0 0.4 by 0 0.5. How much it is? 0 0.08. Is this correct? Is this correct? 0.4 by 5. 
So this is one thing we completed, right? So what are the other ways? So ultimately you require the voltage, volt <coughs> differential equation in this voltage form, right? So what are the other ways to write this equation? Is there any other possibility? KVL in outer loop. KVL, KVL in outer loop, sir. Outer loop. It means? So this is the one. Yes, sir. Right. So why this is the one? So KVL in outer loop. So what you will get, tell me. What you will get? Tell me what, what equation you will get if you apply KVL in the outer loop. Sir, 0.5 into DI by DT plus 2I plus 0.1. So what current it is flowing? So what kind of current it is flowing here? This current is I, right? So what I is sir. the current that is flowing minus here? I. Minus, minus I. Minus I, sir. Okay. So here, what is the voltage here? This voltage is already known to you, right? So V equal to, okay. V equal to, so what you'll get here? So this is minus plus, right? So that's why it is V on the other side. What you will get? Two I minus two I minus two I okay. minus two I. If you are minus, confused, I minus will write minus the other I have way. Into no, no. If you are confused, you'll write. So assume that this current is I one. Okay. So now tell me. So forget about so this one. So what equation you will get? Minus V. Plus minus two I one plus plus two I one I one plus what is the capacitor current? One, uh, current? one upon one point five into integration of integration of I T I one I one I one dt I one dt which is equal to zero right? Yes. So now you know that I one equal to minus I right? So substitute here so minus P So what you will get minus V equal to so bring out the other side minus one and all those things right so it will be two into I degree plus one by point five integration of I dt is this correct is this equation is correct yes sir right yes sir Okay, so what we have to do is we need to write the differential equations, right? Before substituting i equal to 0 0.08. So what is the next step? So we need to differentiate this one with respect to t. So what you will get if you differentiate this one? So minus dv by dt plus, not plus, equal to 2 into pi by dt plus i by 0.5 right i by 0.5 right agree yes sir sir we missed anything in place of dv by dt i by 0 0.08 in place of yeah so anyway that will do so we have we know that so i equal to 0 0.08 dv by dt okay. so by doing this what you will get minus dv by dt plus in place of 2 what you will get so which is equal to 2 into di by dt so di by dt of this one is 2 into 0 0.08 2 into 0 0.08 is 0 0.16 right d square d by dt square okay and this is 1 by 0.5 that means 2i 2 into again so this is 2 into 0, 0 0.16 
वॉट यू विल के डी वी बाई डी टी जस्ट चेक इट आउट चेक दिस वन करेक्ट सर ओके एनी वे वी ब्रॉड दिस इन टू वन इक्वेशन राइट सो वी कैन वॉट वी कैन डू equal to zero okay so that means it will be equal to if you divide this one with 0.16 so what you will get d square v by dt square plus what is the extra term you get 7.29 by 4 how much 7 point someone said 7 point 7 point so 25 7.25 dv by dt which is equal to zero So that is the differential equation, right? So what is its characteristic equation? What is its characteristic equation? S square plus seven s equal to zero, right? Agree? So seven point two five s, no? Yeah, seven so not s. Sorry. S square plus seven point two five s equal to zero. So what are the roots for this? Zero and minus zero comma. Zero comma minus seven point two five and seven point two five. So what is the solution for this? What is V of t? So what is the solution for this? What kind of solution we can expect? A e power s one t b power a a one e raised to s one t. Uh, a one e to the power of s one t, so that means zero t plus a two e to the power of minus seven point two five t. Agree? V infinity. Yeah, V infinity. T equals to zero. V of zero. What is v infinity? I think v infinity is zero only, right? Yes, and no source was there. No source is there, right? So there is zero only. Okay. So this is source free, right? So there is no pointing and right v infinity. So it is a one. So that means a one plus a two into e to the power of minus seven point two five t. So what are the different initial conditions you have? So first we initial condition V of zero equal to how much four four volts right? So what you will get from this? Y one plus Y two equal to four. Agree? Agree? So what is the next initial conditions you require? So d v of zero by dt, right? So how to find this d v of zero by dt? How to find that? Yeah, is equal to zero point zero eight d v by dt from that. Just check it out. Do you have anything there? Yes, sir. Yes. You can use that. Sir. I of zero point. जीरो 
so this is d t equal to 5 i by 4 right okay so from this it is dv by dt so what it will be how much it is it will bring point 0.1 on the other side bring point 0.1 on the other side 6.25 into i of i of t 6.25 into i of t means i into i this is the one you are saying yes sir so what is 5 see what is 5 by 4 what 0. is 5 0. by 4 sir. 0. 0.125 into i sir 0.125 into i divided by 0. 0.1 how much it is this point sir, one is sir, right. total value is 0. 0.125 divided by 0. no no it will be 12.5 no 5 by 40 so what is 5 by 4 1.25 1 by 2 right 1.25 sir 1.25 right so by point 0.1 is there right so how much it is 12.5 i right i hope i am correct 5 by 4 is 1.25 and point 0.1 is 12.5 into i agree So dv by dt equal to 12.5 into i. So if you substitute dv of 0 by dt equal to 12.5 into i of 0. So i of 0 value is already given, right? So what is i of 0? In the data, i of 0 value is given, right? What is i of 0? 0. 0. So that is 2 amperes, right? So that means this will be 25. What is it is 25 volts per second so dv of 0 by dt or dv of 0 plus by dt so that is 25 volts per second okay so this is another one so that means this is equal to 25 so substitute this one and find out the value of so differentiate this one if you differentiate this one it will be 0 so what you will get 7.25 minus 7.25 into a2 which is equal to 25 so what is a2 value so minus 3.45 minus 3.45 so therefore overall solution v of t so from this what is a1 so a1 equal to a1 plus a2 it will be 7.45 yes sir okay. so what is the overall solution so it is 7.45 minus 3.45 e to the power of minus 7.25 t sir yes any wrong is there sir if uh, we said that v infinity is zero no, sir. yeah v infinity and, is zero only and if we put the infinity t equal to infinity we are not getting zero no, sir. the first thing is that First thing is we no need to add v infinity term. So why we no need to add v infinity term? So why because what is the reason? We have current source. No source. Not current right. source. We consider all the whatever the elements is there. When you are writing the differential equations, we consider all the. We are not neglected any sources. Right. Okay, sir. We are not neglected any sources. Right. So in previous cases, we neglected voltage source for simplicity for simplicity purpose see here this is the case so we neglected this 20 volts voltage source so that's why we added okay okay sir understood yes sir okay. you have any questions no sir so we'll try to solve one more problem Okay, anyway, just a second.
this is one quarter Henry. So this is one by 25 farad. So this is four ohm. All right. So this current is I actually. And this switch is closed at T equal to zero. This is 20 volts. And this is six ohm. Okay, that's all. So find I of T for T greater than or equal to zero. <coughs> So find i of t for t greater than zero. All right. So how to do this? So how to solve so these kind of problems? What is the first step? What is the first step? We need to find the initial conditions. Why both are zero? Yeah, the switch is yeah, the switch is initially open, right? So this is zero amperes and this is zero volts. Okay. So what is the next step? So here this question is we need to find this capacity this current i right sir okay. what is v sir across which component what is v means across which component voltage sir? No, no, the question is we need to calculate the current only not voltage okay this voltage we are okay this is the capacitor voltage okay. this is the one you are talking that will be the capacitor voltage no? by default Okay. Sir, the so polarity, polarity, sir. Polarity. Mm -hmm. polarity. Polarity will be this is plus minus only, right? If you, if you assume yes, sir. Okay, okay. If you assume that this switch is closed, okay. For zero voltage, there is no much meaning of polarity this side or that side. But as and when we close the switch, so obviously this is the right way to take this. This must be the positive, right? So here, if you notice that this current, right? So this current, we cannot directly calculate that. So, but we can calculate this capacitor current, right? Agree? We can calculate so that capacitor current. Let's assume that this entire thing is I1, right? So what, if it is I1, so what is I here? So what is I? So capacitor current is I1, right? So what is this current I? Simple question. Hmm? Minus I. Minus I, right? See here, so this current is flowing like this in this capacitor. So this current is flowing like this. So this is you assumed I, and this is you assumed this I0. So what is that means? So this current is same current is flowing here, right? So what it means? I equals to I naught. I equal to minus I naught only, right? Agree? Sir, I equal to I naught. Sir, I equal to I naught. Why I naught? Moving in same direction, they are flowing in same direction. Is it in moving in same direction or in the opposite direction? If this is the same case. This is I naught, right? So what is the value of that? Same way. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, we'll come back to that if you're confused, right? So assume that this current is I1, right? So now find the solution for this and tell me. So 
find the solution for this and tell me so, so what principle we can apply can we apply kvl so can we apply kvl in this loop so tell me see if we apply kvl so what you will get for t greater than zero minus 20 minus 20 why minus 20 plus 20 plus 20 equal to 6 i1 plus v 6 i1 plus v v voltage across capacitor no what is that no if he is how to write that v v, v require in current form right so how to write that voltage across capacitor in current form so it is 1 by 0 0.0 1 by 25 integral yeah. 1 by 1 by 25 right agree integration of what is that current that flowing i1 minus i1 plus i know i1 plus i integrity. no tell me what is that current now it is flowing so this current is flowing like this right so this is i so what is the net current that is flowing in the circuit What is the net net current? That is plus I. The capacitor. Simple question I'm asking. Two loops, right? Hmm? I don't know why you are confusing. So this is the circuit, right? This current. So this current is I, right? And this current is I1. So what is the current that is flowing through this capacitor? That is the question I'm asking. I1 plus I i1 plus i right okay so if we, how many loops are there in this there are two loops right yes two. okay so what is the current capacitor current one plus i okay so now you agree right so what is the value of this current that's flowing right i plus i1 right or i into dt so what is the inductor voltage or inductor from this inductor so it is one by l into di by dt right one by l into d i one by dt which is equal to no not zero this is the one right we are all agree for this or you have any doubts understood Sir, one by four di one by dt. Yeah, one by this is four only. Yeah. Understood by how you have written this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So bring this into some differential form, right? So by taking derivative, so derivate this one, and so bring this into some differential equation form. And tell me what you will get. 6 into di1 by dt. 1 by 1 by of 25. That will be 25 into d i1. I, what you will get? I1 plus i. I1 plus i by dt. Plus 1 by 4 into d square i1 by dt equal to 0. Let's check it out. Sir, only i1 plus i, sir. not derivative. Yeah, it's already integration is there, right? No derivative. Okay. So this is 0, right? Yes, sir. So if you notice that, so this consists of i terms also, right? So how to eliminate that i portion? So how to eliminate? So this i. We can write. Another time, no, no, you, take, you cannot differentiate this another time, right? So this i is also time variant. Apply also KVL in second mesh. Yes. Okay. You will try this one. Apply KVL in mesh two. So tell me what you will get.
what you will get if you apply KVL in the second loop. So 25 into integral of I D T. 25 into integral of I1 I plus I D T. Plus I not I not right? No, not no. I not. So what you will get 25 into I1 plus I into DT. I1 plus I DT plus 4I. Four 4, I, four, four I. into I equal to 0. Just cross check this. I hope this is correct. Is this correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So now tell me. So now tell me. So what it will be? So what is the next step? So derivative of this one. So derivative of this one, what you will get? Twenty five into I one plus I is in plus four D I by D T equals to zero. Twenty five into I one plus I plus four D I by D T is equals to zero. Four D I by D T. Four D I by D T equal to zero. But it will create again two variables. Yes, yes. Another two variables. Now tell me what is four di by dt? Minus twenty five. Sir, minus six point two five into i one plus i sir. Minus. Minus six point two five into I one plus I. What you are saying? Minus six point two five into I one plus I. Di by dt values. Di by dt values. Minus six point two five into I one plus I two five into I one plus I. I one plus I two. So can we substitute that I one plus I two or I one plus I? I sir. I sir. Yeah. So try to substitute that. Right. Sir, we have I, I have D I by D T. Mm -hmm. We have I no sir, I not D I by D T. Sir, I think in place of integral of I plus I one into D T, we have to substitute minus four I by twenty five, sir. Then we can do. Yes. So six into d i one by d t is this equation. Mm -hmm. uh, substitute i equals to in terms of i one in second equation, which is twenty five into i one plus i. Yeah, what you will get then? Tell me. Is this twenty five into i one plus i is there, right? So what you will get? So minus four into d i by d t. But that will again bring i one and i the equation. Sir, if we substitute I1, we will get equation in terms of I, sir. To substitute I1, so we will get equations in terms of I. Yes, sir. sir. But we will get triple R. applying, will be third applying order, other loop law for forum register, outer loop, sir. And without considering without capacitor. Yeah, tell me then. So what you will get? So KVL at outer loop. So what you will get 20 equal to 6i1 6i1 minus 4i minus 4i plus 1 by 4 into di1 by dt plus 1 by 4 into di1 by, di by dt. dt. Yes, just check it out. So when you so bring that in terms of i or not.
Any other suggestions? Sir, from uh, the outer loop equation, sir, we can substitute I, no, sir. No, you can substitute I. Then we'll get to e What is I you'll get? What is I? 5 minus 1 by 16 into di 1 by dt. 5 minus 1 by 16 into di 1 by dt. di 1 by dt. Minus 3 by 2 into i1. Minus 3 by 2 into i1. Yes, sir. So that means we need to substitute here. That is the one you are saying. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, do sir. it and tell me. I think signs are different, sir. Yes, sir. Signs are different. Yes, sir. Signs are wrong, sir. So it will be minus 5, sir, and sir, plus 1 by 16, sir. It will be and minus? Will be minus? So minus 5, sir. And oh, sir, yeah. plus 1 by 16. Okay. And sir, plus 3 by 2, I went. Okay. Yes, sir. has been passed sir one is uh, what you got sir, d i one square by d t square d i one square by d t square plus as 121 by 4 121 by 4 d i one by d t d i one by d t plus 250 i one plus 250 I1, I1 equal to, equal to 500. 500. Just check it out. I think this is correct. Yes, sir. It is correct. Correct, sir. Right. So we already considered the source. Okay. So remember, we considered the source. Okay. So remember, we considered the source. So no need to add the V infinity term. Right. So now, what is the characteristic equation for this one? S square plus 121 by 4 s yes, plus 250 right so this is equal to 0 so that will be the characteristic equations on the other side this 500 is there right so that will be its v infinite value right agree yes, yes sir. okay so find out the roots for this s1 s2 Sir, that finite value is V of infinite, sir, I of infinity value, sir. I of infinite. Okay, sir. So that 500 will neglect? We need to neglect, just I'm, just I'm thinking. We need to neglect that. Okay. And we need to add I of infinite. Just a second. Imaginary loops. Is coming. Imaginary roots are coming. Yes, sir, because 125 by 4 whole square is less than. Whole square equal to 250. Something somewhere we are doing wrong.
sir, I take. I am thinking taking science in that outer loop equation will be wrong. Taking science. Taking science means what are you saying? They are correct only. Sir. The direction of I in the outer loop correct, sir. Yeah, that is correct only. Sir, if it, it is correct, then uh, across the inductor, uh, I1 will not be there, no, sir. It will divide again near the inductor. We will not get I1 at the inductor if we take the direction of I on the outer loop. Reverse, we have to take the things, sir. Normally, while doing this, some will we get real roots, sir? <laughs> We're not sure, no. We'll never. We, we don't know whether we what kind of roots we will get. Also, we can try considering by removing the source. So that option is also there. Okay, in this problem, right? We can remove this source. And we can add that e infinite term so that also can be considered okay i think you just try that one so by removing that source so is there any possibility is there so remove the source and add the i infinite term i1 infinite term so maybe that maybe helps you out okay so this is the one also oh, find so find v naught of t for t greater than zero so voltage across that one ohm resistor so for v uh, t greater than zero Actually, I'm solving along with you. I'm not uh, solving uh, here to the class so that you will also think in the same direction. Instead of writing whatever I'm writing, so instead of writing on straight away, if I, if I already solved that, right, I might know so whether I will apply KVL or KCL. Okay, in which loop I, if, I know the answer, right? So it is easy for me to solve again. So that's why I'm not solving and I'm allowing you to think. So which is the suitable uh, approach to solve that problem? Okay. Yes. In the in that given problem, uh, we have to consider I one zero and I two zero, no? because uh, both inductor are different. Here. Ah uh, yes, sir. Initial, initial, zero only. initial conditions both are zero only because this is seven into of t, no? Both are zero only. So if this is I1, right, if this is I2, so I1 of zero and I2 of zero, so that is zero only. So try to solve this one. I have the answer also I'll provide. So it is two into e to the power of minus three t minus e to the power of minus 10 t. So we'll stop sir, here. Yes. So in the previous question, we, go, we are getting imaginary roots, sir. Uh, then can't we do that, sir, like uh, e to the power of minus alpha t into a1 cos omega dt plus a2 sin omega So here that alpha is not there, no? What is alpha uh, here? Alpha, we can take that like from the equation, sir, like 121 no, by 4. So which alpha you will take here? Sir, isn't alpha the coefficient of s that is 121 by 4? It's not like that, no. See here, if series RLC circuit alpha equal to what R by 2 L, right? In parallel RLC circuit, it is 1 by 2 R, say. So in this case, what is alpha here? So those solutions are 
right so those solutions are explicitly for this e to the power minus alpha and omega d this is explicitly for series rlc circuit or parallel rlc circuits only okay. uh, sir but uh, theta alpha value is the coefficient of s uh, so in that equation isn't that the coefficient of s uh... no that is we are not taking as the coefficient of s no it is 2 alpha i think what is the characteristic of equation if you incorporate alpha? I think two alpha. Yes, sir, it is two alpha. Two alpha, right, okay. That is two alpha. So those are only for series RLC circuit and parallel RLC circuit, right? So if the roots are imaginary, uh, if the roots are real and negative, so but the solution is straight away, we can write e to the power e1 s1 t plus a2 e to the power s2 t. So that is the solution. So based on the solution also, we have written the other terms, right? So for example, if you are writing imaginary terms, right? a1 into e to the power, what is s1? Some alpha plus j beta you are getting, right? Into t plus a2 into e to the power of some x plus j by t. So this is the solution you got, right? If it is in the imaginary form. Okay. So this alpha in the sense, not the exact alpha, the alpha plus, for example, if the roots are something like three plus j4 you are getting and two plus j6 you are getting, right? So how to write the solution? It's a1 into e to the power of three plus j4 t, that is the first one e2 into e to the power of 2 plus j 6 t so that is the one you will write right so from this onwards we will simplify that so you are obtained that so earlier if you remember a1 plus e to the power of alpha plus j omega d t that is the first term and a2 into e to the power of alpha minus j omega d t so these are the terms you obtained right you remember So from this only you obtain e to the power of alpha t plus a1 cos something like that you will obtain. So in this same manner you have to do here, that's the thing. So the but general solution is e to the power of e1, e to the power of, e, this is the general solution. So it, as it may be complex numbers or it may be real numbers. Okay. Okay, we'll stop here. So next class we'll start with uh, lab lab. Sir, lab, yes. lab. Sir, can you show the last question solution? This one. Yes. So one minute. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. All right. Okay, we'll stop here.